check, check. All right, let's see how this goes. Welcome to whoever might be watching. This is Shabby Loo, Shabby Loo, Shabby Loo, Shabby Loo, Shabby Loo, Shabby Loo, Shabby This is my 50th attempt at this right now, I guess. I don't know. I forgot what I was going to talk about today because my microphone has been the only focus of my camera this whole time. The light keeps changing. It keeps going from super sunny to super cloudy when it was cloudy all morning. Um, I keep fighting with my eyebrow. because My eyebrow is driving me nuts. And this is how neurotic I get when I guess I'm triggered. I had a breakdown this morning. Um, I woke up with a call from unemployment um, in a different state, the state of where my employer is and my ex-employer. And they were like, oh, your your employer filed, uh, reported all your, your wages to your current state, Florida or whatever. So you have to apply through them. Um, three weeks ago, I tried to apply through my state. My state said, your employer isn't in this state, so um, you can't, <laughs> you don't qualify to to get um, unemployment here because your employer is not here. And I was like, great, great. So that's why I went to my employer, ex-employer state. So. You know, I go over there <laughs> and they said it was going to be three weeks before I found out, you know, um, if I was going to get unemployment or not or whatever status, blah, blah, blah. So it's been three weeks and that was, that was that. And that, that's how my morning started. And I had so many plans today. I was going to stream music. <laughs> I was going to do a day stream. I was going to do breakfast with Sabby which I've been trying to do since Tuesday, but stuff keeps happening in the morning. <laughs> like, um, all week, the, the apartment complex has been paving stuff and, um, paving the parking lot. And first they mark off a certain area. Um, this is driving me nuts. Anyway, first they marked off, <laughs> I'm sorry, Sparkle Bunny. Here, you can sit here. We'll keep her right there. So anyway, first they marked off um, a certain area on a map. The map said Monday or no Tuesday. You'll this area will be going on. And then thankfully, um, I couldn't sleep because I was anxious because my my gut instinct was like, that's not true. They're gonna fuck you over. They're gonna fuck you over. And um, there's my wonky eyebrow again. Um. Anyway, I, I checked that morning and sure enough, they had, they had the map that they gave us, um, incorrectly marked. So, um, my vehicle would have gotten towed if I wouldn't have woken up at like 6 a.m. in the morning to make sure that it wasn't going to get towed. Um, so, uh, I moved it to the right spot, um, where it was safe but I couldn't see my vehicle from there and I didn't feel safe because, you know, in my neighborhood, people are getting shot all the time. And if people are getting shot all the time, I don't think my car is safe from theft without me, you know, being able to peep over and look at it. So anyway, I also don't feel safe going to my vehicle to get groceries or run errands or whatever. Um, when it's far, far away. And it also hurts my back to carry shit that far. So I haven't been able to buy hay for the bunny or anything for the last couple of days. Um, even though my friends 
community gave me a whole bunch of money to cover stuff like Bunny's food and groceries and rent, um, or at least rent. I'm still scared of getting groceries, really, but, you know, bunny food. Um, so anyway, uh, <sighs> anyway, um, that's been like the undercurrent of my whole week since Sunday, because I wasn't sure what was going on. Um, but anyway, the podcast with Nick was really great. That's what I was talking about the last time I vlogged. Vlog number 30, you can watch it. You know, it, it'll be here. It's here somewhere. If I'm able to link it, because I don't know what I'm allowed to link as a little tiny, <laughs> tiny little YouTuber that I am. Um, if I can link it, I'll link it up, up, up top. If I can't, um, it'll be, you know, in a playlist of the vlogs. The vlogs, like the one you're watching right now. Um... <laughs> And, um, what else was I going to say? Um, yeah, it was a great time and I was so distracted by the conversation because it was so intense that I didn't really comprehend what was going on when my friend's community was throwing money at me and literally paying my rent. Um, so lots of, lots of high emotions that night. Um, and Next morning, I felt really disoriented and um, unsure of what to do or who to be, um, but my body was catching up. I'm emotionally exhausted. Um, on top of everything, I got my period last week. Um, I think it was, um, I don't have my camera, I, I don't have my phone or anything. Um, hold on, let me, let me check. Where's my phone? Or where's my mouse? Um, I mark it on my phone because I, I don't remember things and I worry. Um, I think I got it Saturday. It was like three days early. It was supposed to come Wednesday. So it might have been Sunday. Um, but yeah, uh, I've been really weak and tired from my period um, despite everything. So, um, physically, I was kind of out of it. Emotionally, I was out of it. I was dissociating really badly because I felt like my life was playing out in front of me and I was just here, <laughs> unable to connect with myself emotionally. Um, I thought about doing music, um, but the timing just kept getting messed up and Again, I've been tired. I've been sleeping too much. I've been working on some things on the side. Um, as I mentioned in a million recordings, I might just clip that in or I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. But anyway, um, I've been working on merch a lot. Um, not a whole, whole lot, but I, I got three new designs up on the website last week. Um, I think that was last week. I don't know. I'm losing all sense of time again. Um, the 25th. Okay, so last week. Um, yeah, so a week ago, I don't even remember when I recorded my last vlog, you guys. <laughs> I don't know what day that was. It feels like yesterday. It feels like three months ago. You know, this is how dissociating goes. <laughs> um, let me see. I see properties on um, the 29th. So that was um, almost a week ago now, almost a week ago. Yeah, it was the night before the podcast. So I don't know if I mentioned the whole unemployed thing and all that laid off, blah, 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 blah. I don't know how many details I went into. Um, I don't remember. I don't remember. So I guess that's why I'm talking about it again, but any support on Kofi would be super helpful. You get perks like behind the scenes stuff, um, percentages off of my commissions. Um, by the way, my commissions are open. So even if you can't, um, even if you can't support me monthly, you can commission me through there. I do video editing. I do audio editing. I do 
drawings and paintings and digital art and um, merch design, logo stuff, marketing stuff, you know, um, branding. I do overlays um, for, you know, Twitch. I do panels for Twitch. Um, I can do um, the thingy, the banner, banners for Twitch. I do that too. Um, I do all sorts of things. I do all sorts of things. And um, mostly, mostly self-taught. But I think I'm, I'm pretty kick-ass at it. So, you know, <laughs> um, I'll, I'll put in a clip of me showing off the shirt um, that I'm wearing. There, there's my merch, so you can see it. Anyway, it's a shirt, which is one I designed. My friend Tina bought one recently. It looks really cute. Um, shout out to Tina, Tina, Tina. Uh, she does. Um, she does. She's a streamer on Twitch um, as well. So, yeah. Um, last night was a very emotional night for me, uh, and. Um, this morning after the whole stupid thing with unemployment, um, I had like a breakdown while I was making breakfast. I burnt breakfast. I got very impatient with mom and I felt really, really bad. Um, my threshold went from like, um, I feel like normal to like really low, really fast. Um, but, um, I don't know. Overall, my therapist keeps telling me that I look a lot better while I'm not working. Um, I've been able to bounce, bounce back from stuff a lot better, I think, in general. Um, I think that's a huge deal. I think that's a big, big deal. Um, trying to block out the sun with my head again. <laughs> um, anyway, um, I think that's a big deal. That's something that, um, I feel like is rarely talked about how much, um, trauma and CPTSD impacts your day to day. Um, how much of my energy is wasted on just trying to function a lot of times because um, I don't have space and time to process things that come to me. Um, you know, emotional flashbacks. There goes my Instagram going ding again. Uh, it did earlier with um, with another <laughs> version of this that I did. Um, anyway, so that's something that a lot of people don't talk about is, um, sorry, now the neighbor kids are screaming. I guess they're home. Anyway, um, more distractions. I'm sorry. I'm easily distracted right now. Um, hence the preening of the eyebrow over and over and over. Stop it. Just stop it. I put pomade on it and it's still being stupid. I don't understand why it does this. It drives me insane. I can't even focus. This is why I don't like having a camera on because I freaking look at this shit over and over and over and over and it drives me nuts. Anyway, <laughs> it drives me insane, you guys. It drives me insane. Um, what was I saying? Um, God, I don't remember what I was saying. Let me stop the recording and check. Okay, so, um, yeah. See, PTSD takes a lot of my energy every single day. <laughs> like, every single day. Just to um, set time aside for me. Tell myself I'm safe. <laughs> Mostly my body, because it's my body reacting, not so much my brain. Um, once my brain starts reacting, I know that, you know... Um, I completely dove into the deep end of, of um, being scared out of my mind and, and a deep trauma response at that point. So, um, it's been, it's been better for me, um, not working in, in those, in that respect, um, being able to make room to process everything, process all my feelings, um, and everything I'm going through and just be like, Hey, uh, hey, little Sabby, you're safe, and everything's gonna be okay, and no, nothing's hurting you, no one's gonna hurt you right now, um, I kind of have to tell my body that, 
like over and over. Um, and when you're working, you don't have time to do that, you know, cause you're on someone else's time. Um, when I'm doing art and stuff or, you know, music on my own pace, my own time on my stream, even I have time to like, take a moment and breathe, notice that my body's like reacting and, um, you know, be my own boss, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what other way to word it right now. Um, but be in charge of my own time and my own life, my energy and, um, rest when I need to rest, take a breath when I need to take a breath. But if I'm on someone else's time, I don't have, I don't, I don't have room for that. And it's very frustrating. So that's the main reason why I want to be self-employed and not just try to do this on the side, you know, um, as much as the work itself matters a lot to me, whether or not I get paid, um, I f feel like it's important to me, but the reality of life in this, you know, society is that, um, we have to have income in order to survive, in order to eat, in order to have home, you know, all that stuff. Um, so that's why it's hard for me. And this is, I feel like this is something that content creators are constantly trying to explain. Um, you know, our work isn't valued in any sort of way. Um, we're working on our own, um, you know, building our brand for nothing. It's been seven years that I've been struggling with this and, you know, um, feeling endangered every single time I did what I had to do just to expand my brand, which is share videos and, um, tell people about my music and tell people about my art and my merch and everything, all that stuff. I have to tell people about it. And for a long time that felt extremely dangerous and was extremely t triggering. And, um, it would take me months to bounce back and regain that sense of safety because I was working on someone else's time. Um, you know, I can take a day off and just be like, oh, I'm in a trauma response. I need to like rest <laughs> because after the trauma response response, my body is, you know, exhausted. It's, it's a lot, it's a lot to go through things emotionally. Um, you know, you're, your brain is pumping adrenaline into your body. So it's like you just ran a marathon kind of thing, um, physically. So it's not all in your head. A lot of people love saying that. that it's all in your head. Get out of your head. Blah, 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 blah. You know, but it, it's, it's your body reacting a lot of times. And, um, as much as I can mentally tell myself I'm safe, my body still needs time to recuperate. So, you know, um, Tuesday and Wednesday of this week, um, a lot of it was spent with just resting and getting back to feeling like myself. And, you know, I had a little bit of energy to cook and clean. Um, yesterday, especially I spent several hours cleaning my kitchen. That's something that would have taken me a month or more to get to when I was working. Um, my bunny's litter box, I have to like clean it today. But anyway, um, I've been able to keep on top of it, which is something that would have been impossible with even, you know, the pavers and everything going on. I don't know if I talked about it in this clip, <laughs> this, this, um, take or not, but <laughs> if I didn't, I'll stick it in somehow. Um, they've been paving outside and it's been really stressful because I'm scared of them towing the car if I leave the car in the wrong place because it's like $300 just to get my car back and also um, an Uber, like $30 to $50 for an Uber just to get to the place. And um, that happened to me last, actually that happened to me in May um, when I parked my car in an area that used to be, um, I used to have lines, but the lines like got all blurred. And um, since the lines weren't physically there anymore, they they decided to take advantage and tow my car just because they could. 
And, um, my, my, my manager didn't understand why I couldn't just hop back into work afterwards. She made it seem like I was being unreasonable. Um, I, she had loaned me like some money to get it towed and then it, it took too long for the money to get back and I paid her back, but I accidentally gave her the wrong amount and she basically, you know, just kept $50 extra, um, from what she'd given me, um, and just acted like, you know, she, she originally gave me that amount, um, which I think is kind of shitty of her, but anyway, um, you know, I was fawning, so I wasn't going to be like, oh, hey, I accidentally gave you um, much more than what you gave me <laughs> and, you know, everything. I was also scared of getting fired because they were giving me a lot of shit for being disabled and not being able to just bounce back from my bunny passing away back then. So this is all happening all at the same time, you know, um, them bullying me to trying to take make uh, me work um, an hourly wage because I I knew they would try to cut back my hours and stuff if I did that um, and I refused because um, it didn't seem right. Um, they didn't want to accommodate for my disability um, which is you know CPTSD. Um, they gave me a hard time until I had my therapist intervene um, and help me out um, so it's just been a thing after thing with this company just kind of making my life impossible and I really don't want to go through all of that again. So, um, you know, as much as I love everything I do and I would never think that, you know, um, it's worthless if I can't get paid for it or that I would never want anyone to be, feel like they shouldn't have access to my content um, if they can't pay for it, um, it really is a lot easier for me and my disability. Um, you know, not, not just the CPTSD, um, but also scoliosis because whenever I'm in a trauma response, my body reacts and, you know, inflammation goes up and then my pain levels go up. So, um, sorry, Instagram. Um, it's a lot, you know, and even talking about this, I feel like I'm trying to manipulate people. <laughs> That's how I felt when, you know, Fern's community helped me and helped me make rent and everything and I started crying. I felt like, like I'm some evil person trying to get money for nothing and that's not it, you know. <laughs> um, the disabled community isn't lazy. Um, disability in this country is hard to even um, get and then once you get it it's like it's not even a living wage you know um, it's not enough to survive on and then um, they almost they also limit you from being able to make your own money um, otherwise you know in your own ways so you know if you make too much money then they take it all away um, and then you know you're kind of just shit out of luck um, he, like a lot of people in the disabled community can't even get married to their significant others because that would make um, their wages and their support and completely disappear. Um, so it's not easy and the ableism inside of me is like, oh, you're not really disabled. You know, you're not in a wheelchair. You're not, <laughs> um, you know, you're not an amputee. You're not this and that, but the reality is that when I'm working, I'm not okay, you know, um, my whole life is in disarray, um, like I, I can show you how my room looks right now because I haven't had time to clean ever since my bunny passed away almost a year ago. So um, there's my bed, that's somewhat, you know, not messy, um, hold on. <laughs> There's, um, here's my room. <laughs> and here, let me move that. Uh, there's the, their laundry that I can't afford to, to wash. And, um, there's, there's the semi-clean clothes that I wear 
um, every day. And um, there's all sorts of unopened, like, or open boxes and stuff that I haven't been able to clean up. This is my desk, that's a mess. Um, and, and here's my face. Here's my face again. Um, and I, I hate showing this stuff because, you know, I either feel like I'm trying to guilt trip people or, you know, whatever stupid shit. Um, I'm not trying to lie to anyone. I'm not trying to guilt or shame people into anything. I just, I just want to do what I know I'm good at, you know? I'm, I'm good at music. I'm good at helping people like emotionally, spiritually, or whatever. Um, um, I'm good at my podcast and advocating for mental health. And, and I had this all set up so my lights wouldn't be all stupid, but stupid camera. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> anyway, um, the, Anyway, there, there. Um, not only that, you know, I, I have my mom to take care of who needs a lot of help, and I, I just want the flexibility of not having to answer to anyone and make my own time, make my own hours, because that's the only way. I feel okay and safe to help her and help myself, you know, do everything I need to do. So, I don't, I don't know. I'm sorry. Okay, sorry. Um, I had to, like, collect myself. I know it's not a lot of tears, but <laughs> freaking out and I hate crying in front of people, so <laughs> makes me feel unsafe and now <laughs> my camera's all fucked up again. Is that how I had it before? I don't know how I had it before, you guys. I don't, I don't freaking know. <laughs> it was perfect. It took me forever to like get it right. And the sun keeps fucking up everything. <laughs> so I'm like, hello. Stop. Focus on my face. <laughs> you stupid camera. I know. I'm trying to block out the window. That's what, what I'm trying to do. Block out the window. <laughs> anyway. um, Yeah, so. I guess that's the update. Um, you know. getting pushed around by the system <laughs> and um it makes me feel horrible and the moment i'm feeling you know not horrible um sorry i feel like my head's cocked around because of this stop um the fo the moment i don't feel like unsafe i i don't i don't even know how to function i don't even because i'm not used to it and it, it feels like I'm being ignorant or like <coughs> in denial or something. Like I felt, I woke up feeling safe on Tuesday and I was like, there must be something I'm forgetting. Um, I must be stupid because, you know, even though I'm okay right now, I have... I'm not going to have anything, and in, in a month, I'm going to be in the same place, and I felt too tired and too weak and too fucked up to even start looking for work and stuff, and um, looking for work is like, I feel like I'm, I'm giving up on myself, you know, but it's also, it's also very scary because I feel like I'll just end up in the same um, type of environment that keeps me feeling unsafe 
constantly, but in a different way, you know, um, like I'm going to be stuck in poverty forever because I don't have a degree and, um, always tired and always exhausted and having to buy takeout all the time and <sighs> forcing myself to eat, you know, stuff that's full of sodium because I'm too tired to even, you know, make a turkey sandwich at the end of the day because I've been trying to just keep myself feeling okay the whole day. And that takes a lot of energy. That takes a, it's a lot of work that I can't explain. I can't convey in any sort of way. And it's just... <sighs> anyway, I guess that's all I wanted to say right now. I don't know. The podcast was great. Um, I have Twix from Twix and Cat um, from the Sewer Crew... Um, he'll be joining me on Monday Mingle on Monday. Um, that's February 6th, so three days from when I'm recording this. Um, hopefully I'll have it up. I'll hopefully have the, the vlog up in a couple hours. Um, it's three o'clock right now. Uh, I've been trying to do this since 12. <laughs> and now I have to eat again soon, even though I just ate when I sat down to do this. I've just had a bunch of setbacks with the sun and my camera and my eyebrow. I'm feeling disgusting. Um, we'll see when I have energy to take a shower again. Um, it's been way too long. Something, something else that the disabled community struggles with, um, especially the mental health community. Um, not my eye, not my eyelashes are joining in the wonkiness. <laughs> It's fun. Um, I feel like a YouTuber that I used to watch who always had this going on with his fake eyebrows, eyelashes. Um, but for me, it's my actual eyebrow <laughs> being a C-U-N-T. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and like the video, comment. Um, it does help the engagement. Um, if you're able to, um, please, please, please consider um, monthly support of me on Ko-fi. You get all sorts of perks like Discord stuff and um, exclusive content, discounts, um, free merch. If you're in a higher tier, you could get, um, you know, this shirt that I have on. I'll show you in a second. I'll, I'll show you one of the many clips that I recorded. Um, yeah, and... Um, you can set, get, you know, all sorts of things. You can look at my Kofi page. It has all the details of all the perks and everything. If there's anything that you guys think would um, be helpful or um, a better incentive um, that I can offer you guys, definitely let me know in the comments as well. Um, that stuff does go a long way um, to helping me understand what my audience would like, you know. Um, but, uh, my commissions are open. I don't know how many times I've mentioned this <laughs> in all the different takes I took, but I do art, um, excuse me, Davy Scorsese, <laughs> Davy Scorsese burps. I have to do that every time I burp, just so you know. Anyway, my commissions are open. I do digital art. I do traditional art. I do, um, merch designs as, as you can see I'm wearing one um i'll show you um <laughs> i have a merch store um where all like all the designs are at right now the ones i made for myself i do branded content um like overlays for streams for you streamers i can probably do emotes pretty easily um mine took a long time but it was like they were by hand and it was just, anyway, it's a mess, but, um, I think I could do better with someone else's stuff, <laughs> um, than what I had originally planned with my stuff. Um, but I can make logos, um, panels for Twitch. I can do the, um, the background. What is, I already forgot what it's called. 
uh, the banner. So panels, banners, overlays, um, gifts, make gifts, um, you know, for stream alerts and everything, I can make those personalized for you um, and help you, you know, upload them to Streamlabs or um, Stream Elements, um, either or, you know, all that stuff. Um, I also do video editing, audio editing, um, and, you know, I'm a singer, so if, if you want to commission me to sing something for you, you can do that too. My eyelashes are freaking out. Anyway, my commissions are open. Um, if there's something that you think I can help you out with that isn't listed specifically on my Kofi, you can reach out to me, sounds at gmail.com. It's my business email. So, um, my link tree is in the description. My Kofi's in the description. Um, I don't know if my link tree's in there, but everywhere you can find me is on there. Um, my website, I have a blog that I do as well. So um, help me subscribe to the channel, like the channel, all that stuff. All that stuff helps me, um, engagement and whatnot. I have Twitter, I have Instagram, don't have TikTok. I'm, I'm currently against TikTok. I don't know if I'll ever make one, but um, follow me. It's, it's all the information is, is findable. Um, and, um, what else was I going to say? I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You can find me. If you, you can contact me if you need to, you can find it. Um, and, uh, Oh, that's right. That's all I was going to say. My music um, page is oh, very, very close to 100 people where then I can get a customized URL. Um, I think it's like four to six people. I forget exactly how many, but I'm like either at 94 people and then I need six more or I'm at 96 people and I need four more. I forget. Um, I think it's 96 people, but go over to my music channel, please subscribe there as well. And if we get this, this channel is a long way from a hundred people, um, subscribing. So, you know, I'm not pushing for it. It is hard, but it would be helpful as well. And, um, yeah, catch me live on Twitch at nine o'clock Eastern on Mondays. Um, this Monday we have Twix from Twix and Cat, the sewer crew. Um, he'll be joining me talking about mental health and everything else. And, um, this is the end of my vlog, <laughs> number 31. Um, what a mess. I am a mess and that's okay. Take 55,000. <laughs> Welcome to the Sabby Lou Sounds Vlogs. This is vlog number 31. 31, 31, 31. I know that for sure now. Um, my ring light is distracting me because it's crooked. Anyway, my camera won't focus on this mug right here unless it's two feet away from me, which makes me uncomfortable because it feels like it's invading my space. And it makes it harder for me to try to like act like I'm looking at you guys and not, you know, some weird spot in the distance. Um, but I had a lot of fun and um, I feel like, I feel like um, the light shifted. God, I hate, I hate, I hate daytime. Daytime sucks, you guys. Daytime sucks. Listen to me. Daytime, daytime sucks. When you don't have a big old curtain to block out the sun, and fucking make your light consistent. Anyway, anyway, I'm just having, <laughs> having a moment. My camera will not focus on my face. It keeps focusing on my microphone. I'm going crazy. Anyway, and bunny hairs on my lips. Anyway, welcome. <laughs> I don't even know. I already forgot what I was going to talk about. 
my baby girl behind me. My baby girl behind me. See? You see how it lost focus already? Come on. My face. My face. Come on. You see? You see how dumb this camera is right now? We're good now. We're calm. Ish. Anyway, I hate having the camera this close to my face, but it is what I gotta do. It's got. It's what I gotta do. It's what I gotta do. You see, this would be cuter if I could do it without having to go off camera, off into the side. <laughs> you see how the light distracted me from the vlog recording? That's exactly how I felt when my amazing friend Resurrection Fern and her community just threw a bunch of money at me and I made rent. So I went from not knowing where I was going to be in a month, um, not knowing what was going to happen to me and my family, um, to being more or less secure, um, at least for a month. So I can pay rent. I'm going to go do that as soon as I get off, finish recording this and also apply for more jobs and stuff like that.